before this video begins, I would just like to publicly state that this is for a general audience. This can be enjoyed by children and adults alike. Children under the age of 13 can enjoy this video for the Thomas of Friends brand itself. Teens and adults can also enjoy this video for its production value and nostalgia. Thank you, Mainland Studios. There's two, there's four, there's six and eight. Shunting, rolling stock, and holding freight. Red, green, yellow, orange, purple, brown, blue. They're the really useful crew. That's who. All with different roles to play around Tidmouth Sheds and far away. Down Gordon's Hill and around some bends, we got Thomas and his friends. The weather on the island of Sodor is becoming much more colder, and frostier as well. Eventually, snow was going to come early. And every wise engine knows that you have to be very cautious in the snowy weathers. At Allsburg Harbor, there was a train that was needed to be taken to Netford. The rolling stock waited boredly until Ryan showed up. All right, you lads, come on to Netford. Ryan pulled into the yard, he noticed Scruffy, but also remembered something back in July. Hmm. Oi, Oliver, I've been needing to tell you something. As Ryan left, the rolling stock started to chat with Scruffy like old friends. Say, Scruffy, weren't there more engines that credited your gears back in the day? Well, there is another tank engine I have in mind. The Green Caterpillar. The who? You know, the one that pushed me into the coal mine back in 1980. Oh! He trapped me, but now it is time to turn the tables. Um, how exactly are we going to trap him? I got just the perfect way possible. Hugo pulled in to the Natford platform. He was to take carolers to Vickerstown. Hey there. Oh, Guns at the Noon! Say, what you up to? I'm to take my carolers to Vickerstown. Is that so? Well, I know a shortcut to Vickerstown. Really? Ah, uh, yes. Take the elevated part of the line. You know. Since the station is on an elevated platform. I see many things. <laughs> Marvelous. Phase one is complete. So with phase one out of the way, now was the time for phase two. That's me, you magnificent leader. Good luck, lads. Let me know how it turns out. And with that, Percy made his way to the Sodor Search and Rescue Center. Murdoch was already there with a transfer train. With ULP and Rickety only filled with the supplies for the rescue center, only Scruffy became part of Murdoch's transfer train. Um, where are you going? Uh, don't you worry, mate. You just keep distracting the green fella. 
long enough for phase three. What's phase three? That's phase three. The carolers inside Hugo were practicing their singing, but their singing was so loud that it caused a great big avalanche. Snow roared down from both ends of the rescue center, trapping everyone in it. Hit for tap. Come and enjoy your stay. <laughs> what are we going to do? We can't find any help if we're trapped in the snow. Well, Belle, we're in luck. Not all of us are trapped. Harold, fly out here. See if you can find Emily. I'm on my way. So this was part of Scruffy's plan to leave us with the victim. Why? Why he would do this? I thought we were friends. Scruffy's plan? What do you mean? Feeling betrayed from their old leader, Rickety and ULP has decided to expose his deed. Meanwhile in Vickerstown, Hugo has dropped off the carolers. All right, lads, stand by for eggnog. Eggnog! Oh, yes, I'm thirsty. Hi, Hugo. Hello, Emily. What are you up to? Just dropping off some eggnog for the carolers. The two friends were having a conversation about how excited their winter holiday is when they heard a familiar propeller whirling noise. Harold, what's going on? It's the Sodor Search and Rescue Center. There was an avalanche, and the staff are trapped. I'm on the way. Without hesitation, Emily picked up her next train. I have to take parts to the Sentry anyway. Time for a rescue mission. I'm coming, guys. Rescue? Sound adventures. Wait for me. And that leads us to this point. So you're saying this avalanche was set up? Well, if anything, I think you guys did the right thing exposing his plan. <laughs> hey, I know that whistle. It's Emily! Trembling tracks? What a huge drift! What'd we do? You're the crew who could shovel through the snow. But that would take ages! Emily pondered, looked over at Hugo's propeller, and then an idea popped into her funnel. Your propeller can act like a rotary! And your end is soaked kind of like a snowplow! Hmm, we could try. It just may look After a little while, Hugo's propeller was now facing the snowdrift. And the action was ready to be pulled off. Ready, Hugo? Okay, here you go. And with the flick of the key, Hugo spun his propeller like crazy, plowing the snow away. Emily was surprised that her plan was actually working. Finally, Hugo made his way to the other side. The parts were then shipped into Dustin's ruddery, and now was Dustin's turn. Alrighty, guys, stand clear. And with ease, Dustin flared and plowed through the snow, gliding through it like a knife going through butter. At last, everyone was free. Well done, Dustin! And well done, Hugo! Freedom! Bust my boiler! He did it! Meanwhile, Scruffy was having a little minor celebration. But unfortunately, what he saw in the yards was going to make his victory short-lived. What? How? Percy just couldn't thank Hugo and Emily for their brave acting. 
Thanks. All of those really nothing. I'm just glad I can help. Scruffy was then needed to be a part of a train that led to Brendan. Now then, Edward. After you drop these rolling stock off to Brandon, I need you to pick up a special special and take it to the Sodor Search and Rescue Center. Yes, sir. Oh, hey, Scruffy. I heard you trapped Percy in an avalanche. How'd it go? Wow. It lasts. At least it's a good story. With a sad ending. Hey! And just like they did at the Sodor Search and Rescue Center, Rickety and ULP explained the plans to the trucks, and they were horrified. I don't understand, Scruffy. We helped you deal with Oliver, but you left us with Percy. What? Have you no honor, no dignity? Actually, I guess Tars to told some tough name. What? Is this only why I'm a leader? He had a plan to deal with a great caterpillar, but he just took revenge for himself and left his teammates behind. He's not worthy of a ringleader at all. I say we exile him from our group. Who's with me? My goodness, things are getting nasty back there. After Edward dropped off the rolling stock at Brendam Docks, he looked around for his special when he heard an unfamiliar voice. Hey there! Huh? Who said that? On your right. Edward glanced over, and his eyes were fixated on an unusual looking rolling stock. Oh, hello there. Uh, are you the special special? Mm, it depends. I was told that an engine is supposed to send me to the mm. search and rescue center. Well, I'm your engine to take you there. I'm Edward. The name's Patricia. I'm a wedge snowplow. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure's all mine. I bet you're gonna love Sodor. Patricia had never felt more welcomed. But meanwhile for Scruffy... The trucks and I have decided your fate. Scruffy, you are hereby dethroned from your position as ringleader of the troublesome trucks. Enjoy your time being under you. Shame. And nothing more. Bloody Tossa! What? What? No, this is a mutiny. Come on, maybe we can work something out. I don't know, me hearty. I guess you'll have to take it up with them. Who's them? Can't go on that tonight! You are dead! You would not believe the punishment Scruffy got. Thanks for the spare wagon, Edward. I'll use this one while my old one's in the works being mended. <laughs> You forget to be a long stock. How's it feel to be a laughing stock? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's too rich! <laughs> well, guys, I think we've learned a very important lesson. Please don't do anything dumb that will result you losing friends.